Okay, here's how you're going to get started. So whether your source, so I actually, so I'm imagining, so I'm Kate right now, so as I'm Kate, um, I'm looking at my information. What I am literally doing is I am dissecting the information and I am picking and choosing out what I think is good. The information, like seventh hour, I looked, and there were already students who had gone through and they highlighted what they thought was good for their paper. You don't have to do that. Some will just go through and pick and choose. Some like to highlight first. What you're going to do is you're, it's, it's literally like dissecting and you're picking out the good parts. Once I have done that, then I'm going to create note cards for that information. This is my source number one. I'm going to imagine this is my first source. So on top of this specific piece of paper, and I won't do this, Kate, but I'm going to write source number one, okay? So as I'm going through this, I'm going to look, and I'm going to see, it says, Americans should be ready to face these fanatics. Uh, John Snyder, a gun law expert and lobbyist, says in press release on um, Saturday. Um, he says, as the Oklahoma attack indicates, people can stop terror attacks with firearms. So he says, people can stop terror attacks with firearms. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, no a note card from that, okay? So I'm going to put up here, I'm going to go source number one, because I've written on here source number one, but I could, if I wanted to, I could put... Uh, the title of this article, so then I put the title here, or the author here says Patrick Johnson, so maybe I just want to put Patrick Johnson here. So source number one, it says uh, people can stop terror attacks with firearms. So um, I'm going to put with guns, people can stop attacks. Is that what he said? Is that what he said word for word? No. No, no but I paraphrased it, right? I, put, I took what he said, so I put with guns, people can stop attacks. So, now I'm taking this information, I paraphrased it, one thought, one thought, one note per note card. If I see a paragraph here, and there's like two or three different things in that one paragraph that I think are good, I'm going to put one thing <coughs> per note card. I could probably make three or four note cards out of one paragraph. Does that make sense? Short and sweet. One thought, one note per note card. This here, with guns, people can stop attacks. So I'm probably going to put here, um, how to stop attacks. That's what this note card is about. So this note is about how people can stop attacks, and this is where I got it. Right? Okay. There's one note card. Done. Now, same source. So I'm going to come over here and from source number one, I'm going to come through and I'm still picking and choosing. Um, one specific quote says that I think might be good and I'm just picking and choosing. Um, it says people, um, Oklahoma however is a pioneer in so-called bring your gun to work laws. So I'm going to put um, Oklahoma is a pioneer in so-called bring, hello, we need an <coughs> bring your gun to work. Okay, so this, Oklahoma is a pioneer in so-called bring your gun to work. So this is talking about I'm going to put guns and work, and maybe the job. This is a quote card. What am I missing for this to be a direct quote card? Quotation marks. The quotations. Good job. Okay. I have taken this word for word off of the paper, right? Okay. So I have note cards that I've paraphrased. I have quote cards that I've taken word for word. I have... I am required to have a magazine, a newspaper, a personal interview, and two websites. From all of that information, everything together, from all of this, I'm going to have a total, total note cards. So I'm picking and choosing information out of all of this information, 
and I'm going to have a total of 40 note cards. I didn't have 75 when I was a sophomore. 40 note cards and 10 quote cards. She was, I loved her, but she was kind of mean. Um, so, this gives you an idea and this gives you an example. So we know how we are going to paraphrase our note cards and put this into our own words. Quote cards, we are taking word for word. By the time I'm all done, I will have 40 note cards, I'll have 10 source cards, and all of those cards came from what I picked and I dissected out of all of this information. <coughs> Questions about that real quick. Okay, tomorrow we will still be in the note card process, so you're still going to be working on note cards, and then tomorrow I'm going to show you how you're going to make your source cards. So yet again, you're still going to be multitasking. Some of you today are a little farther in the gap.